Our group showed this photo to several individuals to get their opinions and reactions. We have selected two actors to portray the most extreme viewpoints that we encountered through our interview process. We asked individuals what their thoughts were on this photo and received the following reactions. Uh, so my initial reaction to the photo was you see it and you're seeing that like everyone's kind of having fun in it, but then you look closer and it's there are these women perched on the guy's legs and you're looking at it and you're like, why are you doing that? Why are you sitting there? Why aren't you like standing up and being assertive and taking charge of your own body instead of being like, oh, I'm just gonna sit here on this guy's lap and I'm gonna be a decoration and I'm gonna smile and maybe put my arm around him. You know, it's reinforcing this idea that women are there as a decoration and not as their own independent people. You know, like stand up and, and take charge. BCC, it's like an intellectual and it's an academic case competition. So you have men and women for months ahead of time working together, you know, trying to figure out these problems, working in teams and cooperating. And obviously you become really close, but the problem with this kind of photo is that it demeans some of that work and it makes, the, makes some of the women seem that they didn't do as much work. And by looking at a photo, seeing that is sometimes challenging I mean like because there are women standing up not everyone is perched on a guy's lap but having those women front and center sitting on a guy's lap just kind of showcases them and demeans their intelligence in that they're there as showpieces and they're not there to be intellectual and to be academic and to participate in the same regard and in the same capacity that other guys are that other men are so my main issue with the photo getting taken down was that if it had been male sitting on female's laps, it wouldn't have been the same degree of, as, of controversy. And then secondary to that, it was that I think it would cause a lot of issues with females. And as a female and as a feminist, I think that females should lift females up, not tear each other down, whether it be how we're dressing or where we're sitting or who we're talking to, that's really your own right to decide how you're gonna conduct yourself in that way. As a member of JDCC and someone who was in that photo, I was initially very shocked and offended that they had taken down the photo from the website. I think it was unfortunate because we put a lot of work into this and it was it was unfortunate to see this not being recognized by the school. However, after hearing some of the arguments for and against this photo, I kind of understand why it created such a controversy. I think both Hillary and Emily had made very good points. Um, Emily kind of talked about how it didn't represent our academic ability and what we had just gone through in the seriousness of the competition. And I agree it was a little too casual of a photo for the for the website. And I think this arose because most people didn't realize that the photo was being taken for the school website and probably would have positioned themselves differently. And on the other hand, like what Hillary said about uh, being a woman, I should be able to do what I want and um, not think of the consequences of that necessarily. Uh, I agree with that to, to an extent as well because as a group um, with 20 plus hours on a bus we were all very comfortable with each other and no one found it strange that the, the girls and the guys and everyone was so close on that team so the photo didn't strike any of us as strange until we got the feedback from out, people outside of the competition itself and this really really helps bring out the, the controversies that can be made over such a simple thing and that it can be taken so differently by different feminists. After gathering these extremely different opinions, we wanted to see which one of these individuals classifies themselves as a feminist because we wanted to understand the single viewpoint of the feminists. What we found instead was that both of these women identify themselves as being a feminist. This reinforces the idea that the lines of feminism are most definitely blurred. Um, and so my name is Hillary Elliott and I'm a feminist and as a fem I'm a feminist because I'm a female and I believe that's my right.